Hey folks, Motormind here. I'm uh, just uh, working on this 2007 6 room Blingo. Um, just pulling ABS sensor off of it. As I said before, I'm scrapping this vehicle, so I'm just pulling bits off, taking videos as I can. So the first thing you want to do is jack up the, uh, jack up the side, you want to take the ABS sensor off. I need the subframe there. Axle stand, because I've never want to trust uh, hydraulics. And ABS sensor, this is the wire here, runs along there. Of course, here is a cover there. So I'm going to undo this bolt here, 10 mil. I already started this guy because he's a bit, a bit rusty. So you take that guy off there. And you see there's a sensor there. So you get a better, better, better picture there. Got my light. <coughs> the sensor's right there. So that there is a 13 mil. Just grab a 13 mil. Oh, comes. You know, the sensor wire runs here. It's long there. It runs up into there and goes inside there. So I have to open the engine bay. We'll have to get the uh, unplug it there from, from the connector inside. So you want to take that off there. Well, these do tend to seize in, uh, especially an old, old uh, van like this. So I'll uh, you see there. So I'll have to probably uh, just get something on there. Usually just like a pair of pliers or something like that. Just very gently back and forth. Just give her a little wiggle. And uh, they normally come out, so I'm just going to put this camera down. Alright folks, uh, give me an idea here. Usually I found something like these guys here. Let me go back and forth a bit. Now these do break, so you have to, make it, you have to take it easy. And it is plastic and it do get seized into the hub. So I just want to give it a little wiggle here. Break off that corrosion. Holding it on, and usually just gently, ever so gently, ever so nicely. You just want to pop it up there. I see many guys break these things off. Um, you know, it's not just Citroens; it's a lot of vehicles are all kind of the same idea. And there you go. See the ABS sensor right there. Cut it off. So you want to. And do all the uh, rubber fittings. Like that way, like that way. Just a light here so you guys can see. Right there. And wrap this. So this is just just for a customer who wants a needs the ABS sensor off the left front side here. You also need uh, the striker for the rear um, for rear hatch as well. Okay, so that, you see that it goes up in there, so I have to go up there and get that. Alright okay, guys, so as you can see, there's the other end of the wire there. Runs through there, here, and there's your plug for the wire. So, uh, pop, just pull this guy up here, pull it apart, but uh, you need two hands. So there you are. This guy there since just pulled it out, out of um harness there. Push it right through the uh rubber grommet there. And now I just want an ABS sensor it has been removed. I'm gonna give it a little inspection here. I uh, just want to make sure they're in good shape. Oh there. Essentially this is a small magnet inside here. The sensor and this side here is a tone wheel, looks like a teeth wheel with teeth, and it causes a square wave. And it'll, it'll look like that if you looked at um, if you looked at like a oscilloscope or something like that. And that's what it picks up. So it picks up uh, the voltages goes from ground to uh, power, ground power, ground power. It usually runs about two and a half to five volts, depending on your system. And uh, yeah, it obviously gives gives the computer mainly APS, it tells it just kind of how fast the wheel's moving, and um, that's you know, it locks up and stuff. That's usually where cars will get your your speed for your, uh, your wheels. Uh, on some systems, newer systems, we use ABS. to get your speed for uh, on your um, of the vehicle. It kind of takes an average of all four. Let you know how fast the vehicle's going. It also lets you know if the vehicle's you know if the wheel locks up, then the ABS kicks in. Uh, also, some systems they also use it for their um, TPMS. 
they use the ABS and it kind of calculates calculates it through how fast each wheel is moving. The only wheel seems to be um, has less uh, diameter and it's moving a little slower than it'll um oh, sorry faster sorry. Um, then it'll uh, it'll say oh the wheel you know the tires low and uses a system and kicks up your um, TPMS system so it's a little background to, uh, on uh, ABS and stuff like that so yeah yeah that should be good there so uh, I'll make more videos of this I'm gonna probably uh, see if I can rip into this engine as I mentioned the engine's got a knock on it um, I, I diagnosed at the bottom end the cylinders um the piston rings have actually ate in to the side walls. And just kind of ate itself up, had piston rattle, and just got the cylinders up, engine's done. But we'll pull this uh, head off and uh, we'll have a little look. Because uh, I think the head's still good on this. Head gasket and everything seems, it still seems to be fine. But like I said, the bottom end's gone, so um, the vehicle just wasn't economical to replace and fix. So I was just better off just to scrap it and move on. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, click the